this. Why is it so hard to form sentences before coffee? <laughs> like seriously though. Like, anxiety. Yesterday, in the middle of the afternoon, my wrist just started bugging me. It was so strange. And then by the nighttime, by the time I went to bed, it hurt so much, like I couldn't even type a text message on my phone. So then I wrapped it before going to bed. It doesn't look swollen. Like, mm, maybe my right hand is like a little bit swollen when I look at it. I don't recall a specific instance where like something cracked or popped or Cold. like nothing this is very strange and I just hope that it gets better soon because I need these babies that's what's going on here but um I haven't had my coffee yet ordered some new espresso pods I'm in need of a good coffee this morning because today is gonna be a really fun but also really busy day I'm gonna start it with a meeting that I cannot give you the details of but it's a meeting about getting the frozen croissants into shelves. So send me good vibes on that. And then at night, I'm meeting up with some of my friends for dinner downtown. We're gonna go see a band. They are a local band called Actual Bank Robbers. I saw them last year at a 90s party and it was so fun. So I cannot wait to see them again. It's actually my friend's friend who was in the band. She had an amazing dance party last year. So we're like, we need to do it again. It's very exciting. But first, coffee. Oh, and I've been meaning to share this with you guys. Mini, careful. I'm always afraid that she's going to dr like drop the camera. She's not the most graceful cat, which I can relate to. I mean to share this with you guys. I switched the milk that I use on my uh, latte in the morning. So just bought this at Publix. It is the oat silk creamy full fat oat milk. This is good stuff. It is super, super creamy. When I put it in the, what is this thing called? Why is it so hard to form sentences before coffee? <laughs> milk frother, that's what it is. When you put this inside of the milk frother, it creates a lot more froth, like a lot more foam. Go with the salted caramel this morning. See all of that good stuff? Look at that. Now I just need to figure out how to make some art because this is more abstract blob situation. It's modern art. So good. So you guys know that in the mornings I like to read my nonfiction books. So this is the latest that I've been reading. I got it from the library. She's a fashion designer and an accessories designer. It's kind of like her life lessons. I don't remember if I mentioned this in a previous vlog, but I listened to Shoe Dog, the memoir of the creator of Nike. And you guys know that I don't do sports ball. I did not think that I was going to get anything from it. I was like blown away by that book. It was just incredible. Like the lessons in business, and it wasn't like a business book. It was about his life and building Nike, but like it's one of those books that you can't, like you keep thinking about. And it was so great. I really loved it. Um, You know, kind of a tough act to follow with this one, but I'm enjoying it. It's just different. Oil little guy. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep reading this while I have my coffee to get ready for my meeting. I'm so excited about it. I'm excited, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Mostly excited, some nervous, some excited, mostly excited. Guys, I'm just so ready for these frozen croissants to be rolled out. Like, I just can't. 
it's been a freaking process. It's been so much work, but I just, I'm so excited for it. And then just, I can't wait for you guys to try it. I can't wait for you guys to have it. And um, on Instagram, you guys have been so awesome and supportive and like, yeah. Anyways, I'm blabbering. I need to drink my coffee and get ready for this meeting. So I will check in with you guys later. Cheers. And we are ready for the meeting. Good thing about Florida, <laughs> this is a um, fake rat, by the way. But um, Florida, it's casual. So this is perfectly good meeting attire. All right, wish me luck. Let's do this. Minnie, you might not be the most graceful cat, but you are so cute. She loves her bread basket. She loves bread as much as I do. Yeah, she doesn't eat it though, don't worry. She just likes laying on the bread basket. There you have it, lunch. It's not pretty. But it will taste delicious, I'm sure. I'm gonna sit here, eat my lunch, and watch Gilmore Girls. I'm re-watching the whole thing. And I'm being reminded of how awful everyone but Lorelai is. Like, seriously, though. Like, I always thought Jess was the worst. And then I was reminded of how bad Dean was. And now I'm like, but really, Rory was really the worst worst. Anyways. I'm going to eat this and watch my Gilmore Girls and then get to more work and then one step closer to happy hour. I'll talk to you soon. I have a call at noon, so in like five minutes. I'm talking to a reporter. She wanted to interview me about like starting the business and being a baker and all that stuff. So um, the meeting went well. Oh yeah, and I got this at Walgreens. Uh, it, it like holds my wrist in place and it hurts a lot less so I, I just really hope it's not something big like my anxiety was getting a little out of control and I uh, was like convincing myself I was having a stroke or a heart attack it's not even my left arm it's anxiety I googled <laughs> and usually googling why you have a pain or a concern is always a terrible idea it's always really bad but this time around it was like it's probably carpal tunnel and I'm like yeah it rolling croissants so it seems excessive, like it makes it seem worse than it is, but it's, you know what? It makes it hurt less, so we'll, we'll keep it for now. Um, I changed into more comfortable clothes once I got home. The meeting went good. I mean, it, we'll see what happens. I'm just like putting all the good vibes out there. And I hope you guys are too. I can't wait for this. But anyways, I will get ready for this call. If you would, how you... How you found the commercial kitchen, how you realized you needed the commercial kitchen, how you got your multiple clients, and how you're making all this work. Oh, that's a lot of questions. Okay. So. <laughs>
guys, that was so much fun. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I am pretty sweaty. My hair is kind of a mess. I danced. I left it all on the dance floor. And that's just like the ideal night out for me. Like, that was so much fun. Like, me and my friend just had the best time tonight. It was so great. Uh, had to cut it a little bit short. What time is it? Almost 1 a.m. Because I needed to come home to give Gingy his meds. It's all good. He's all medicated. Oh my gosh, what a fun night. So we went to this Italian place downtown. Down, oh. Why can't I speak? I swear I only had one drink like three hours ago. So we went to this Italian restaurant downtown called Il Ritorno. It was um, so good. So they had an entire vegan menu, which was like completely different from their actual menu. Like a full menu, like a full menu of vegan stuff. Everything looked so good and I was like, I'm gonna have to come back here like eight times to go through the menu. And then the waiter was like, well, you can do that, but we change it like very frequently. So there's always new things being added to the menu. I got the rigatoni something, meze rigatoni I think was what I got. Oh my God. It was so good. It was super garlicky. It's a good thing I wasn't making out with anyone tonight, but it's just, it was so good. So freaking good. Amazing. Um, and then after that, we just left and went to the Floridian Social Club and uh, watched the actual bank robbers. This shows you how much fun. It was a lot. I mean, I had so much fun, I even forgot about the whole carpal tunnel situation. I took that off purely for aesthetic reasons <laughs> before I went to dinner. And it was kind of bugging me during dinner. But then once I got to dancing, pain went away. So you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm gonna put it on before I go to bed though. So I should shower because I am a sweaty mess. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Today was like a fun combination of work and play. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you subscribe. I have new vlogs every Friday. Uh, I will see you guys here on the next one. Until then, stay curious.